We're here today at Independent Studio Services, and we have with us Larry, who is not only one of the managers here, but is also one of the most sought-after armorers in Hollywood. So we're very grateful to have you today, Larry. Thank you very much for being here. My pleasure. And uh, we have someone special with us today. Yeah, we have kind of a rough-and-tumble pirate here. And I don't know why pirates are always portrayed as being nasty, mean people, but they just are. This pirate, though, is pretty special. This is Captain Jack from Pirates of the Caribbean, of course. Pirates of the Caribbean, huge franchise. Just the, the scope of all the different movies is immense. Uh, as you can see, all these firearms behind us were on at least one of the movies. Flintlocks galore, hundreds and hundreds of weapons out there, multiple armors, it's a huge endeavor. So this gun here, for instance, which was one of Captain Jack's, you know, Perry Flintlocks, that's a functional Flintlock. You, you could pour powder down the bore, you could put a lead bullet in it, you could fire it if you needed to. And it is really ornate. I mean, this is just a beautiful pistol. You can see the flint in it and it's just, it's a sight to behold. Now, I notice it's really patinaed. I know they shot in saltwater environments. Did this patina just happen, or is this something that you guys did? That gun's actually been aged. It it's becomes part of the costume of the character, you know? And so, you know, I don't think we've ever seen a scene where Jack was sitting there cleaning his yeah. guns, right? <laughs> um, and black powder does, you know, absorb moisture. So the guns tended to be a little pitted back in the day. Um, and the, the prop master, you know, Chris Peck, paid special attention to the look of each individual gun. The, the gun had to match the character. A uh, good example here is this gun. This is actually one of the Elizabeth character guns. Okay. Uh, this is what's called a Queen Anne pistol. Uh, the barrel actually unscrews on that, so it was kind of like a rapid reload handgun of the day. Okay, and it's also very ornate. Yeah. And it's, despite the fact that it's, small in the hand, it's got quite the opening up front. 50 caliber, right? Slow, large, moving lead balls was was what was going on in sure. that time period. Yeah, well, I, I know they probably weren't too worried about velocity when you have a 50 caliber projectile, but the level of detail and the the way that these things are, are tended to and put together is just, it's amazing. The, the, the work you guys do is just unbelievable. Oh, thank you. Larry, thank you very much for showing us the hero guns from Pirates of the Caribbean.